Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how can we upgrade the CNA firmware on ESXi 8.0 to resolve a PSOD issue. And in our demo environment, we have a HPE Synergy frame and within the Synergy frame, three compute nodes dedicatedly running with ESXi 8.0 and on top of this ESX 8.0 running with multiple virtual machine, these virtual machines are stored on a nimble storage. Okay. And before we jump into the topic, let's quickly recap what is an ESX PSOD. PSOD stands for Purple Screen of Death. If you see in the right side screen, the example of Purple Screen of Death screenshot. And PSOD, it is a critical error condition that occurs in the VMware ESXi hypervisor when it encounters a fatal error, resulting in the entire system becoming unresponsive and displaying a purple diagnostic screen, same like right side screen. And the PSOD typically includes error codes, such as if you see in the right side, there is a 0x4200. This error code is commonly for all the information. And stack traces and other technical information that can help in diagnosing and resolving the issue. And PSOD errors can be caused by various factors, including hardware failures, driver issues, incompatible software or incorrect configuration settings. So in our today's session, I'm going to focus on firmware upgrade, okay? And how can we upgrade the CNA firmware, CNA full form converged network adapter firmware on ESX 8.0 to resolve a purple screen of death issue. So in order to resolve PSOD issue, it is necessary to upgrade CNA firmware and to ensure compatibility, please refer the VMware compatibility guide. So this VMware link I will show you in our lab system. And to download the required firmware, we have to download from the HPE support article. And the versions we are going to upgrade is from 8.50 to 8.59 series, okay? So let's log into our lab system. And actually today I'm recording this video second time. One funny thing is uh, while recording, I missed to record the screen one instead of screen two. So I am doing a second round of recording. Hope this time the recording will work fine. Okay, and actual upgrade is completed. I'm trying to now explain you the all the navigation path. Okay, so as I mentioned, to, uh, before upgrade, we have to verify the VMware compatibility guide. So this is the VMware compatibility article. Later, I will copy these links to our video description to go through. And within this compatibility guide, it says the version is 8.0 and the firmware version is 8.59. And the download, you can download from the VMware website or you can download the specific firmware from the HPE support article. See, from the HPE support article, this is the driver version. We have to download the software. And while downloading, there is a clearly information they've given us firmware version 8.59, okay? And we have an important tab called installation instructions. So the installation instructions are available here. These steps I will explain through our slide also, the same steps. Okay, and let's back to the slide again. So we already reviewed these two articles, compatibility, VMware compatibility guide article and also the HPE support article. Now, so HPE ESX server firmware upgrade, CNA firmware upgrade from 8.50 to 8.59, three implementation steps. So here I highlighted the pre-implementation step, mainly six steps. But some cases, uh, some of the organization, they may have some additional steps as well. So let me explain you these six steps first. Uh, schedule maintenance window. Generally, firmware upgrade recommend to do only on a non-business hours. So that is the reason. Determine a suitable maintenance window to perform CN CNA firmware upgrade. This will ensure minimal disruption to the production environment and place the host into maintenance mode. We already know how we can place the host into maintenance mode. That will be like login to the vCenter server 
and select the host right click maintenance enter maintenance mode when you select this option all these virtual machines migrated to another esxa host wherever the resources are available then the host is in a maintenance mode okay and if you want to notice this maintenance mode option i will show you again go to the maintenance mode and enter maintenance mode okay now click on okay see maintenance mode is in progress see when whenever we select the maintenance mode option see all the vms migrating from this esxi3 to another esxi host either host1 or host2 equally it will distribute the vms okay so migration is in progress it will take a while even if you see under vms tab all vms are in progress of migration now the remaining four vms going to migrate yeah only one vm let me refresh it will also migrate yeah if you go to the summary tab now the state is changed to maintenance mode okay even icon for the esx also changed the same point i highlighted here place the host into maintenance mode now download the cna firmware this is the third point so download cna firmware is go to the hpe website see here we have a download software option so this is the option to download and this point also clear now the fourth point is copy the smart component whatever the firmware we downloaded this download we have to copy to esx host and we can copy to the temp directory so i already copied so to verify that one we have to choose the winscp tool i used the winscp tool to copy so winscp is windows secure copy so connect to our esx host let's say our esx host name is esxi03 esxi03 dot our domain name and enter the login credentials so once we log into our esxi host I think let me re-enter the credentials. Yeah, now login. Yeah, ESX host is login. And the download file is, this is the download file, cp051678.zip. This zip file I already copied. So it is under the TMP directory. Under TMP directory, you can see this file. Just in case if no files are available here, just drag and drop. Okay, this file is copied. Okay, and another point is navigate to the location of smart component and unzip. Even if you want to unzip this one, if you open my command prompt, it's already done earlier, but uh, somehow it's already let me navigate all these steps. If you see here, we have to change the directory to TMP ls l. You can see this zip file is copied. Okay, and to unzip this one, the command is unzip space, the actual firmware zip file, the files are already unzipped. Okay, once the unzip is completed, we can, we have to see, we have to use the ls command and we have to use the implementation command. Okay, this implementation command, let's log into our slide again. I will explain you one more time. See, these steps are completed. We downloaded the firmware, copied using WinSCP, WinSCP tool, and later we navigate and we can run the unzip command. Okay, these commands we verified on the screen. So I will also capture the screenshot for your quick understanding. See, pre-implementation steps, we validated the firmware version. Before upgrade, if in order to verify the firmware, we have to log into the ILO system information in the right side you can choose the network tab you can see the firmware version is 8.50 okay and another key information is place the host into maintenance mode just now i shown you how we can place the host into maintenance mode once we place the host into maintenance mode all the vms are migrated to another esxi host and see the host state is changed to maintenance mode now 
until now the pre implementation steps are completed and come to, coming to the implementation steps so implementation steps are four points actually the first one is install the vmware component so to install the vmware component the command is esxcli software space component space apply space hyphen d and actual firmware path okay and the same command i used in our lab system if you see here esxcli and software component apply hyphen d temp and zip when we run this command you can see the installation result this installation result is completed and also message it clearly says operation finished successfully okay and after that we have to change the directory to the specific software component the command for the change directory is cd space opt smart component cp and the above commands i accidentally typed upper case letter but actual command is lower case letter okay so cd space the actual path once we type this path in order to run the execute command the command is we have to use slash dot slash execute underscore component this command information we can clearly find in our installation instructions okay even in the real time scenario when you are performing open this document and you can see clearly so this is the command to run the vmware component and after that we have to run the execute component okay so dot exe execute component once the execute component is completed you can see this information when we run this dot slash execute component it clearly says that hpe synergy q logic for performing the discovery operation please be patient and it will going to update the firmware from 8.50 to 8.50 fine and version generally firmware update is in progress it will take a while please be patient we have to wait for a while so with interest of our time we already completed see at the end of the installation it clearly says that please reboot for the firmware plus to complete so it will says that end message okay so that is the reason i already run the reboot command once the reboot is completed our esxi firmware version will be changed to 8.59 so the same steps i highlighted in our slide deck okay navigate to the installation location change directory to this location and execute the smart component dot slash execute underscore component and these commands are clearly given in the installation instructions and finally reboot the esxi host why we are rebooting is to apply the firmware changes okay so the same steps i will show you quickly one more time with the screenshots see this is the command we run operation the main message is operation finished successfully and another key message is change directory to software component run the dot slash execute component this execute component generally it will take a while to finish the firmware upgrade process so we have to monitor the screen during that time okay so even if you see on screen instruction clearly says firmware update in progress please be patient once it is finished it says the end message at the end we have to run the reboot command so that is the implementation procedure and another key point is post implementation steps so as part of the post implementation steps we have to verify the firmware version and exit the host into maintenance mode so firmware version how we can verify is generally go to the esxi ilo home page system information network tab you can see 8.59.5 version okay even in order to see that one log into our lab system and go to the browser you can see esxi home page system information go to the network tab you can see currently it is showing as esxi 50 this is the not esxi different version we have to log into the esxi 3 now after refresh it will upgrade select the esxi 3 reopen the ilo page now you can see the latest version upgraded page here select the system information go to the network tab and you can see firmware version after refresh it is showing the version as 8.59.5 okay so form grab grid is completed now the time to exit the maintenance mode select the esx maintenance mode and you can select exit maintenance mode okay so once the host is exit maintenance mode in the recent task it says 52 percent and it will going to complete soon 
yeah now it is maintenance was completed and host status is connected state okay so let me refresh it's in a connected state okay so host is back to online and our firmware version also upgraded to 8.59.5 so same steps i highlighted here okay so hope you understand and the remember that whenever we are doing the any of the firmware upgrade same like cna if you are upgrading the any other firmware also make sure that our version should be compatible with our esxi version 8.0 we have to verify in the compatible guide and second step use the specific manufacturer article like hpe support article because our server is hpe synergy compute node so this synergy compute node article download the software and upload it to esxi host using winscp tool once it is uploaded we have to verify the installation instructions the ins as per the installation instructions only we perform the task okay and finally we already reboot the esx host and we validated the esx firmware version the firmware version is updated to latest version previous version is 50 and latest version is 59 even this screen if you see in our previous screenshot i highlighted that it's a 8.50 and the after upgrade you can notice the screenshot says 59 okay so that's it for today thank you if you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.